So as you can probably tell, I've been a Nintendo fan for most of... So as you can tell, for most of my life I've been a... So as you can tell, for most of my life I've been... Oh, come on! So as you can tell, for most of... Yeah, this is the actual process I go to to get this video out. Nintendo is really, really bad with their copyright systems. Even with last time's Switch reveal, I was going through so much trouble just to get the damn thing up, and I just gave up and said, you know what? Fine. I'll just fight the claim and whatever. And eventually that worked. Unlike the Bag Raiders. <laughs> But yes, E3 this year. Unfortunately, E3's been getting a bit lax as of late. Nowadays, anyone can just hold a random press conference at any time, and you don't have to wait until E3 to do it, so E3's sort of becoming obsolete. You can kind of tell that because of all people to win this year, it was kind of Ubisoft. Not to say Nintendo was bad, Nintendo was actually pretty good in comparison to... this, Bethesda... and EA... and Sony... I mean, what were we even doing? That said, Nintendo could have probably done quite a bit better, but I'm just gonna go through my thoughts on the thing and explain what I liked and what I didn't like. This is an unscripted reaction, not a live reaction, because quite frankly, the internet is currently experiencing way too many of them. I mean, you look at it and they're everywhere and they're all exactly the same damn thing. Oh, oh, oh my goodness! Oh, oh my goodness! Oh! Oh my god! Please, please, I heard that music! Please, please tell me it's Metroid Prime 4! Oh my god! I swear it is! Can you do this to me? Oh my god! And that's not to say I haven't done it as well. I mean, I really made a cringy one back in the day with both the Game Awards, which I may not have released, and the other Nintendo Directs, and yeah, it was pretty bad, and I will never do that again. That's right. Wait, no. Pokemon Red version, Pokemon Blue version, no. and Pokemon Yellow version will all be released as digital download titles. On Holy sh**! Holy- Okay, I'm back in, I'm, I'm back in. I, I, I quit Pokemon, I was done, I was done, I was done, I, I'm back. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like that bubble's bursting anyway, and it's not really as good as experiencing it firsthand anyway, so I'm not gonna bother with that. Starting off with Xenoblade is probably the best thing they could have done. I am such a big Xenoblade fan. Now, a few of my friends don't really have much confidence in this game. They're just looking at it and saying it's kind of bland in comparison to the first, but after looking at some gameplay footage, it does seem to have the feel. Part of me wants it to be better than the first, but part of me wants that first game to be the ultimate masterpiece of all time. But whether it's better or whether it's worse, it doesn't really matter in the end. The gameplay might seem a bit slow now, but don't forget they're still tweaking it. Plus, I think if you actually added some music to it, it would seem a lot more epic. Also, all the monsters are back, which is rather nice, and the first area definitely does get that same feeling as Colony 9, which is utterly fantastic, because I think that's the best way you could have started off a game, showing off just how big it is, and then only getting bigger from there. As for the accents, uh, I'll have to wait till the final game. I mean, I thought Shulk sounded horrible in Smash Bros, but then I actually played the game and it sounded great. Who knows, I could be pleasantly surprised. And I'm so glad they're making it on Titans again, even if the Titans aren't actually as big as the last two. Yeah, the Bionis and Maconis are kind of causing a shark jump right out the gate, because what can you really do other than that perfection? But, you know, it's gonna be a good game, and I hear Australian accents in there, so, you know, I can throw another shrimp on the barbie and eat spoonfuls of Vegemite while I play the game, because that's how stereotypes work! I guess Rocket League is coming to the Switch, I mean, I've never actually played it and it seems like a good game and I'm sort of excited to finally play it, because I never actually have, but, uh, yeah, it's not really something to put in the forefront, is it? I mean, cross-platform play is nice, but, uh, yeah, it's kind of a running theme of Nintendo being a little bit disappointing. Like, they wouldn't even give titles to their new Kirby and Yoshi game. In fact, they didn't actually say it was a pending title until after the actual press conference, causing a lot of confusion. What didn't cause a lot of confusion was the Metroid Prime announcement. Yes, Metroid Prime 4 is a thing. I'm sure you probably know that by now, due to everyone's utter screaming. Oh my God! Yes! Yes! 
In all seriousness, it's just a 10 second teaser! They showed the title and said it was in development and that was it! Yet you start screaming! Yeah, so what if the last few games haven't been very good? At least you got the last few games, there's plenty of franchises that have just died in the hole. And come on, Federation Force wasn't that bad. Look, I'm not saying you shouldn't get really excited, I'm all for it. But I'm just saying that this is a little bit excessive, so much so that Yoshi was just thrown aside and completely ignored, and I'm actually more excited for that game because I'm not really into first-person shooters. For Yoshi, yeah, I've never actually played that many Yoshi games, well I've played a few, but yeah, I'm actually really excited for this. Maybe they'll even release some Wii U versions on this console in the deluxe format, that would be cool. Of course there's no Smash, but I think they're going to make a new one, so that's, that's that's absolutely fine. Kirby, never been interested in Kirby, so whatever. Skyrim, I'm going to get Skyrim, that's whatever. Overall, this didn't really have that much until after the presentation, when you can actually see some of the gameplay at the Treehouse events. And then they showed off their other Metroid game, which I'm way more into. A remake of Metroid 2? Awesome! I've been wanting to play Metroid 2 for ages, just haven't had the time. And now there's a remake? Perfect chance! But no, they couldn't fit it because it's the 3DS and you couldn't shove it in there. I kind of found it funny how they announced a Pokemon game and said it's in development after the abysmal direct that happened a few nights earlier. Or was it a few weeks earlier? I kind of forget. The only thing I really remember for that was just laughing myself off to sleep at all the salty Pokemon fans. Yeah, I kind of left the franchise years ago, and I don't mean to be mean or anything, but it, it kind of seemed funny anyway. Just the fact that they did everything people weren't asking for and just neglected the Switch. But, you know, they kind of apologized for it here. Well, they didn't really apologize, but they, you know, said it was coming to Switch, so that's great. Odyssey looks fantastic, but the gameplay is kind of having me worried. I mean, Sunshine was good, and I really like some of the handheld ones, but, you know, something just feels off. It's a beautiful looking game, but some of the gameplay, uh, I'm not sure about this whole open world thing, or semi-open world thing. I'm not sure if the streamlined nature of Mario works, and I haven't played too many old Mario games. I mean, I've played a little bit of Sunshine, and that was about it. And look, the gameplay looks great, and having Pauline as the mayor is great, but overall, ugh. I'll have to play it and see the reviews and all whatnot before I probably make up my mind, but something just doesn't feel right. I'll probably enjoy it and, you know, give up on anything. Funny thing, when the trailer first started, I thought they were making another Clash of the Dinosaurs game, that, you know, completely shitty Ubisoft thing with low frame rates and bad Scissors, Paper, Rock gameplay. Legend of Zelda DLC is great, but more important than the DLC are the Amiibos! Oh my god, so many new Amiibos! Why do I have to keep buying them? Because they're so damn good! Oh god! So yeah, even though there were quite a few good things, it just didn't really have that much of an impression on me. In the end, it's okay, I guess, but uh... They don't really have to do things at E3 anymore. And now, kind of forcing yourself to have everything ready for E3 is a bit detrimental. You can have demos at E3, fine, but having an actual press conference is becoming arbitrary at this point. The world isn't the same anymore. It's not a case where you have to wait until then, it's the biggest thing ever, and everyone travels from all around the country to see all the latest consoles and all whatnot. Nowadays, it's just news comes out, News gets to the public, and that's that. But overall, Nintendo did manage to do a good press conference. Was it worth staying up to 3am? Or 2am? I mean, 3am once it was done and I had talks. Yeah, I guess so, but... Eh. I kinda got more hyped for the Switch reveal and all those games and stuff. So hopefully Nintendo pulls out another Direct sometime soon and manages to bring my attention back. Oh, also Fire Emblem uh, Heroes or whatever looks okay, and uh, yeah, it's kind of hard to remember everything from it because it didn't leave that much of an impression. You know what does leave an impression though? Nintendo's copyright. Oh, f***ing hell!